yo what's going on guys welcome back to weathering waves in today's video i am going to talk about which echo set you guys should use for electro dps characters and i am talking about the void thunder set so there are two echoes that you want to use for electro dps characters and those two echoes are thundering mythos and tempest mythos but the real question is which echo benefits your electro dps unit the most so we're pretty much going to cover that in today's video make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't i really appreciate it and let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and hop right into the video now the echo that i am using for my Calcharo is tempest mythos and let's go ahead and read his echo skill so it says that he is going to transform the main character of course Calcharo is going to transform into tempest mythos to continuously attack enemies dealing electro damage increase current characters electro damage and heavy attack damage and then when we take a look at thundering mythos we come down over here it says transform into thundering mythos to deal electro damage increase the current characters electro damage and resonance liberation so this is a really tough one because Calcharo pretty much benefits from heavy attack damage and resonance liberation and for both echoes the only difference between both echoes when it comes to their echo skill is that tempest mythos is going to buff uh the user's heavy attack damage and thundering mythos is going to increase the user's resonance liberation so the echo that i am currently using on my Calcharo is tempest mythos and the reason why is because this echo has crit damage and the substats are actually pretty nice it has some energy regeneration and it also has 15% crit damage. It's actually really good. And then for my Thundering Mephis, it's pretty trash. It has defense and we don't want that on Kalcharo because he doesn't even scale off of defense. So that's the main reason why I'm using Tempest Mephis. But if I do end up getting Thundering Mephis, would I swap over to Thundering Mephis? And the answer is yes. And the reason why is because the difference between these two echoes, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, their animation sequence. So Tempest Mephis, he has a two hit combo. Now his two hit combo is a lot faster than Thundering Mephis. When he transform into Tempest Mephis, he does end his attack sequence a lot faster than Thundering Mephis. And then for Thundering Mephis, he has like a five hit combo. So he's going to attack the enemy like five times and he's gonna zap around the battlefield. So Thundering Mephis, his uptime is a lot longer than Tempest Mephis. And that is kind of, that's not really good because if you're receiving a buff from Verena, for example, since Verena is going to pretty much buff your team's damage and she's going to increase their attack. Um, when you're transforming into Thundering Mephis, yes, Thundering Mephis is going to receive that attack and damage buff from Verena, but at the same time, you want that to go to Calcharo. So you're pretty much wasting a lot of time with Thundering Mephis. Meanwhile, for Tempest Mephis, he just comes into the battlefield, attacks the enemy two times, and you instantly switch back to Calcharo, and you're getting that electro damage bonus and heavy attack damage bonus. So I will say when it comes to which Echo has you know, a faster animation, I will say Tempest Mephis, his animation sequence is a lot faster than Thundering Mephis. But which echo skill is better and i will say thundering mephis is better for Calcharo. now the thing is it really depends on which electro character you are using if you're using an electro unit who specializes in heavy attack damage then tempest mephis is of course going to be the best in slot echo set for not echo set but best in slot echo for that unit but Calcharo, like i said pretty much benefits from heavy attack damage and resonance liberation but the thing is, he mostly benefits from his Resonance Liberation because he deals a ton of damage in his Resonance Liberation. So, Thundering Mephis is perfect for Kalcharo, and Tempest Mephis is also good for him. So, in conclusion, I will say that Thundering Mephis is good for Kalcharo most of the time, and Tempest Mephis is good for Kalcharo most of the time as well. And the reason why is because when we look at the Void Thunder, a uh, set like when we look at the sonetta effect it says upon using heavy attack or resonance skill electro damage increase so in order for you to even activate void thunder you have to use heavy attack or resonance skill so 
getting that additional heavy attack damage bonus from Tempest Mephis is going to be really nice because you have to use it either way in order for you to actually activate the Void Thunder set. So I feel like both of these sets, like they like both of these Echoes, they are battling each other and it's really hard to you know see which set is good. I just feel like both sets are perfect. Like they're they're just good. Like Tempest Mephis is perfect for pretty much like any single unit who excels at heavy attack and thundering mythos is pretty much good for units who excel at resonance liberation and unfortunately Kalcharo is good at heavy attack and resonance liberation so he's pretty much benefiting from both echoes so like i said it depends on what you want to do if you want more heavy attack on Kalcharo, and if you think that you're going to use his heavy attack a lot more often then go for tempest but if you are going to use his resonance liberation a lot and if you do have a lot of energy regeneration at, in like in your sub stats, and if you are running a uh, Echo who does have energy regeneration, because if I come down over here, there is an Echo who does have energy regeneration. If I can actually find it, there he is. So this Echo has energy regeneration, and I am thinking about you know using energy regeneration on Kacharo because he is going to use his ultimate a lot, and he really relies on it. So. If you are using energy regeneration on Kalcharo, then you should go for Thundering Mephist because you're going to be in his ultimate 24 seven. But if you're running electro damage bonus for cost three, electro damage bonus for cost three and then for cost one, you're running, you're running attack, then you want to go for Tempest. So both sets are absolutely amazing. They pretty much benefit him because he you know, excels at heavy attack damage and resonance liberation. So, it really doesn't matter it, it just depends on what you guys want to do but that's pretty much all i have for you guys in this video and i hope that this was able to help you guys out because uh there are like there was a lot of people who were pretty much confused on which echo was really good for kacharo and yeah this video is to pretty much help you guys out and help you guys understand that both echoes are actually really good it just depends on what you want to do but anyways, I'll be ending the video at that. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And I also made a Jensen guide video. So if you guys want to check out that guide, the guide is right here. You can go ahead and click the video and start watching it. And while you guys are watching it, make sure that you also like that video as well. It will really help me out a lot so that the algorithm can actually notice my videos so that you guys can see more of my videos in your recommendations. So I hope you all have a good one and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.